Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for Scorpio, December 2020. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. May this year be happier than the other than the one we are in. Okay. Usually, I do the old signs reading in the beginning of the month. In the mid of the month, I do. How do I do the? I lost my focus. Sorry. I in the mid of the month, I do the your Venus signs, all the signs as well, and I do Tuesday maybe for you. Collective love reading. And in Thursday, I do how you how you see them versus reality. Every Friday, I have the energy checkup with how you how do they see and feel about you, all the signs. So enough talking, and let's start. We're gonna get one oracle card, then we'll start the reading. Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself which way bring me closure to my, which way bring me closer to my divine purpose and which way take me away from it. Is there a decision in your life? Let's see. Now, three cards for your health, three cards for your money and career, three cards for your love life. Your health. Money and career. Mm -hmm. Love life. Let's take that. One outcome. For your health, we have the Nine of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Pentacles. For your money and career, we have the King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Your love life, Four of Wands, Ace of Chalices or Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords. Let's start with your... Just give me a second... To see the card this is my first deck i bought but i didn't use it i didn't really use it you know so only for this only today i start to use this one so i'm not really familiar with it nine of wands Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles. I feel this is about your heart. You are so scared, Scorpio, to hurt your heart. So you always cover yourself with... Like when you talk, you, you cover yourself with the nice stories that you start to talk about what you want, what's your dream. You always go around the point. You don't go direct to what you, what you want to say or what you feel because you want to hide your heart and not be vulnerable. I think you feel right now that the wheel of fortune is on your side. The wheel is turning on your favor. There is someone in your mind. You feel that they are the one for you.
they are what you want or they have the potential to be your person. But your heart is still holding back. You are still afraid to open up. I think the difference between the past and the, fu the future in your health-wise, I feel this is about, because health, it's about heart, soul, and body as well. I feel this one is about your heart. In the, before, with, with people, you were trying to go around the point, not showing them that you don't want to get closer. What changed now with this person that you are, you are showing them that you are afraid to open up. Before, you didn't show that. You tried to play around it. Now, you are showing this person that you are afraid to open your heart. Are you seeking help from this person? I think you are calling them asking them to help you trust. I want to clarify this four of pentacles. Can you get a card to clarify this four of pentacles, please? One card to clarify. King of Wands. You are seeking help from this person to go back to yourself and be strong and determined to reach where you want. You want to jump in this situation, but you're still afraid. Your heart is afraid. But I think you will. Let's see the money and career. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. You have something in mind. You want to start something. You are the King of Pentacles in this situation, Scorpio. You are stable, ready, like to start something. You have this pentacle and you want to offer it to someone. Are you looking for a partnership or starting a new project? But you are here. I think this goes with your career. Just think about it. You are in between. You don't know. You're still juggling. You don't know which way is the right way. So again, to make your decision, ask yourself which way bring you closer, which way bring me closer to my divine purpose, which way take me away from it? Ask this question to yourself, then take the decision. Let's see your love life. Four of Wands, Ace of Chalices and the King of Swords. This is almost the same like your health about your heart. You want this person. You have a real, true, deep emotions towards them. But you're showing them that King of Swords face. You're still afraid to open up. Okay, please keep in mind that this reading may be vice versa. So this may be happening with you, like this situation is what's the other person think. So if this is not you, maybe that person, they have that divine love towards you, but they are afraid. They are not cold, they are afraid. In this deck, the King of Swords is a bird trying to protect 
their nest with these small birds inside it. So maybe the person you are dealing with or you, it depends which is, if this is you or the other person, they have something to protect. What they have in their lives is not only about them. They have something else they are responsible for. So when they will make, I think this person it won't really to jump in this situation, but the decision will not affect only them. So they are trying to take their times, trying to take their time to take the decision. Or it's not about the decision. They are trying to come closer to you, but very slow because of the responsibilities they have in their lives. Maybe they have people they are responsible for, kids from previous relationship. I don't know. They have a responsibility. So because of that, they are coming very slow towards you. Or this is you. So whoever have this responsibility in their life, they need a sign from the other person to trust. So if this is you, you are you want that person to prove to you that they are trustworthy. So if you feel that you cannot trust, okay, take your time, but try to open your heart and like try to give them a chance. Try to trust them and see. And if this is the other person who has that situation or problem and you are the one who's dealing with this type of relationship, try to try to help this person to trust. I think this situation is all about opening up and trusting because as I told you, the person who is in this situation in love, they have responsibilities. The decision about being with you in a relationship or your decision to be with them in a relationship will not affect only the two of you. There, there is other people involved here. So maybe this is, it's all about the decision. Back to this card. Let's see the outcome. This card is an extra card in this deck. Calls the orchard. It's about a garden. Okay. I think the outcome of this relationship is the place where everyone will be in this situation. So you, like everyone here, everyone here will be safe in this situation. So I think the decision, the decision to go in this relationship will be made and it will be a benefit and a happy life for all the people involved. It's maybe you have pre kids from previous relationship or them, or maybe both of you. Or you have people you are responsible for from your family or they are. Anyways, whoever in, is involved in this, they will be safe and happy. 
I think this relationship will go for a very beautiful end. I, I don't want to say end. A very beautiful start. Everyone in here would be happy. Well, thank you so much, Scorpios. I hope this was a helpful reading in some way. Again, try to focus on your divine purpose and see which decision in here will take you closer. I hope you enjoyed this. If you feel like it, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. So every time I will post something, you will be notified. Wish you all the best. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.